Welcome to another episode of Python for LEGO Robotics. Today we're going to learn how to code BLAST from the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor. G'day everyone, my name is Mr. Code and today I have a very special project for you. By popular request, I'm going to teach you each and every coding activity for the completed LEGO Mindstorms Blast robot, starting with the first activity, Time to Move. A lot of people have been asking me, Mr. Code, why have you only been making videos for Tricky? To which I would say, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and also it's tricky to rock a rhyme, to rock a rhyme that's right on time. It's tricky. So when you start the app, you see Blast right in the middle here. Let's click through to have a look at the programming in Scratch first, before we start doing our Python code. Let's have a look. So the activity we're doing is time to move. So let's click on time to move. We'll skip through the pictures. So this is the scratch code for BLAST, uh, this is the time to move activity and when the program starts we set the center button to red and then we set the orientation of the hub to left. What this does is it makes it so that if you are writing anything onto the hub it will rotate it the right way up. Afterwards we do a scanning animation and then we have a calibrate function and this is a specific function for BLAST. What we're going to do in Python is we are going to rewrite this function uh, by hand and uh, it's going to make it so that we always orient the robot uh, the correct way uh, and position the arms the right way uh, when we start off the robot. After that we set the movement motors to C and A, we dial in the speed at 80% and then we move towards the right for uh, 110 centimeters, then move towards the left for 110 centimeters. All right, so in Python, there are a few functions that we aren't able to do yet because uh, it is still in beta and uh, the Mindstorms app doesn't translate all the word blocks into Python as of right now. So the ones that we won't be doing are the setting orientation, uh, we won't be doing the animations, and we won't be doing the sounds. So uh, everything else though, we are going to be able to recreate in Python. So to start a new project, we press on this plus sign up on the top to create a new project. And then click on Python. Click Create. And then rename the project so that it is, um, let's say, Blast Python 1. And then click Save. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do something called pseudocode. So pseudocode is uh, the, the English translation of the steps that we are going to do. Uh, we're going to do them in comments, uh, that way the code is going to ignore your pseudocode. And it's basically for our benefit because uh, once we have the pseudocode written, then it's going to make it easier for us to remember what we're trying to do. So we don't need this beep sound, but what we do need is to set the middle button uh, status light to red and then what are we going to do? Set movement motors to C and A set speed to 80% Then we move to the right 50 for 110 centimeters. Then move left minus 50 for 110 centimeters. It's just a matter of putting a, a line of Python after each comment to substitute the code blocks. Set status light to red. So we go hub dot status light dot on and red. Now to calibrate BLAST we are going to look a little bit carefully at how um, how this works. When you run 
the calibration code in Scratch, what it does is it rotates the motor to the limit for about two seconds, and then it re um, uh, returns the motor by two rotations. What that does is it makes um, the robot stretch out, so it moves its arms and its uh, its head all the way towards one direction, and then it reverses the move uh, two rotations in order to, to return to the neutral position. And what that does is it guarantees that we are always going to start in the neutral position. So what we'll do is we'll set a torso motor, which is the one that's controlling its head and its arm positions. So we go torso motor equals uh, motor and let's see which which motor this is. I'm just going to rotate this. Whoops. It's motor D. So motor D. So to calibrate blast, I'm going to move the torso motor for two seconds in one direction and then reverse the direction for uh, two rotations. So torso motor dot run four seconds but two at fifty percent and then torso motor dot run four rotations um, for two at minus fifty. So this is just a um um a coincidence right now so it's two seconds to move all the way to one direction but then this is for two rotations uh, so that we specify the exact angle in which we are rotating the arms after that we are going to set the uh, movement motors for C and A so here um, say wheels equals motor pair C and A, and then wheels dot set default speed to eighty percent, and then finally we move the robot. So wheels dot move. Hundred and ten centimeters. Steering is fifty. Speed is default. Wheels dot move. Hundred and ten centimeters. Negative fifty to move towards the left. And that's it. So all you have to do now is put your robot down on a big surface and then press play to see if it works. And that's it from me today. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and a subscribe. It will really help my channel and I thank you in advance. Join me again next time for more coding activities with Blast. Bye bye.